As a wedding portrait photographer, I take a lot of photos of people. So how did I end up 185 miles away from home in what's probably one of the UK's largest silky chicken farms? Well, to find out, we've got to go back to June 26th. While scrolling through eBay looking for some fertile silky eggs, I came across one seller that just seemed to be more professional than the rest. So I placed my order and within two days, the eggs were inside of the incubator. And what happened next? We had life. July 19th, our first chick was born. And two days later came our second baby. And as you can imagine, we were in absolute awe at just at how cute these chicks were. So after they completely dried off, we decided to have a mini photo shoot with them. Taking advantage of the natural light that was coming in through the windows, we got some really nice photos of both the chicks. I decided to send these photos to the eBay seller and it turns out that they actually needed some professional photos done for their business. A few weeks later and we were on the road heading for Essex. Now this place was absolutely incredible. So there were all these different breeding pens that were set up for different colours of the silk but while I was there they had actually put together a pen of their favorite colors and their favorite breeds so that I could go in there sit on the floor and just casually take photos of them while they were walking around and I'm not gonna lie I sat in a lot of chicken You'll notice in some of these photos that I'm actually trying to use the colors of the silkies to my advantage. So to give you an example, in this photo, you can see that I've used a brown silky in front of the brown hen house to really let those colors collide together and give some sort of consistency in the images. Whereas when I went to photograph this white silky, we actually had her on a black tire to give contrast between the two colors. So for the next part of the shoot, we used this barrel that was placed underneath the tree and we used it as a prop for the chickens to sit on top of. Now, of course, we've got the singular portraits in there, but we also used it to get some group shots in there too. And this is where we took one of my favorite photos that I've probably ever taken. I mean, just look at this photo. It looks like the kind of shot that I would take during a couple shoot, except I took it with a chicken. Now, this wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't do a tutorial. So I'm gonna be showing you how I took this group photo of eight separate chickens, which are all posing perfectly for the camera. So you've probably already guessed that this isn't just one image. There's no way possible I could have ever had eight chickens posing so perfectly for the camera. This is actually multiple images combined together to make one. If we look at a couple of the raw files here, you can start to see how, uh, chaotic the images start to get. So you might see from one image, like this one here for example, this silky back here looks great, posing perfectly, and everybody else not so much. So when you're trying to achieve an image like this where we have to use multiple, the best thing for you to do is to take your photos with a tripod. Now taking the series of photos that you're going to be taking is going to make your editing life a whole lot easier. Once you've selected through the images that you want to keep, the next thing that you're gonna to need to do is simply take the elements from each image and use the rubber tool to cut around everything that you want. Once you have your cutout, just use a selection tool to select what you have and then just feather off those edges so that they don't seem as sharp so that they can blend into everything else quite naturally. So you're gonna to wanna to repeat that process however many times you need to, depending on how many images you're gonna be using. In this particular instance, this entire photo is made up of four different images. And once you've got them all together, it's then just general Photoshop and Lightroom stuff to sort out your colors, but also to clean up the background. In this shot, there was quite a lot of leaves and foliage on the ground to clean up. So I just took the time to get rid of that so that people aren't focusing on the leaves. 
they're more so focusing on what I want them to focus on, the group shot of chickens. And that's simply how we go from having a raw image like this, where there's a lot going on and your eye just doesn't know where to go, to having this final image, which is gonna make for a great, say, Facebook cover photo. All right, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A massive shout out to Essex Silkies for letting us into their home and being so welcoming. Of course, a link to all of their socials are gonna be in the description below, so make sure to check them out. And I'd also really appreciate it if you could leave a like in this video and subscribe to the channel. And in the meantime, you can watch other videos here. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.